explains each of these... Is it Dickens? Or have each of these characters a personal spirit independent of their creator? Have the Venus of Medici, the Sistine Madonna, the Apollo Belvedere, spirits and reality of their own? Or do they represent the spiritual and mental Maybe power of their creators? The law of paradox explains that both propositions are true. Micawber is both Micawber and yet Dickens. And again, while Micawber may be said to be Dickens, yet Dickens is not identical with Micawber. Man, like Micawber, may exclaim, The spirit of my creator is inherent within me, and yet I am not he. How different it is from the shocking half-truth so vociferously announced by certain of the half-wives who fill the air with their raucous cries of, I am God. Is it Dickens? Personal spirit, independent of their creator. Who fill the air with their raucous cry cries of, I am God. Imagine poor Macabre or the sneaky Uriah Heep crying, I am Dickens. Or some of the lowly clods in one of Shakespeare's plays grandiloquently announcing that I am Shakespeare. The all is in the earthworm, and yet the earthworm is far from being the all. And still the wonder remains, that, though the earthworm exists merely as a lowly thing, created and having its being solely within the mind of the all, yet the all is imminent in the earthworm, and in the particles that go to make up the earthworm. Can there be any greater mystery than this of all in the all, and the all in all? The student will, of course, realize that the illustrations given above are necessarily imperfect and inadequate, for they represent cries of, I am God,